Hi guys, this is Kudasol from Kudasol.com. Uh, today we're going to do a quick review of Red, Red Wing Mokto boots. Here you go. I had these, well this, and the other one. I had these for five years and they're still amazing and pretty comfortable. Five years is a very long time for a pair of boots. Obviously I didn't wear them all the time, but they were regularly in my boot circulation. You'll probably be able to find a lot of reviews about Red Wings online, including this one. There will be reviews about this one probably somewhere and someone probably did a good job. But I just wanted to show you my opinion about these boots and why I like them so much. The boot model name is 8131 Over Rosset Mokto Boots. I had them for five years starting from 2015. I'll show you a photo here. This was taken as soon as I bought them. I bought them from the UK. I bought them from a shop called Sports Direct. They had, well, Sports Direct carried Red Wing Moktos back then, but not anymore. They don't carry Red Wing, Mokto, Red Wing Moktos anymore. I wore them to many places, including beaches, mountains, and muddy parks. And after five years, they're still holding on very well, which I'm very happy about. I'd recommend these to anyone who wants to wear Red Wings and who's considering buying Mokto boots, I'd tell them to go for it. These boots are made in Minnesota, USA. And Red Wing is famous for having their own tannery. Moktos are from moccasins, which also have a U-shaped toe like this. The size of these are UK 10 and US 11. The last to use is 23, 23 last from Red Wings. It's very spacious and voluminous, but I would recommend you to size down one or two. It really depends on your feet. So I would recommend you to go to a store if you can and try them on. But I went down from, I usually wear UK 11 with my sneakers and some of my boots that I want to wear with thick socks and for dress shoes I wear UK 10.5 and this is UK 10 or US 11 the toe box and the instep on these boots are very very roomy so you should probably try them most countries have red wing boots stores even Korea has one. You can see, you can read my, you can go to my website and probably read about Red Wing store that I visited in Korea. They have awesome selection of boots, including Japan's only uh, selections, I think limited release selections, and some of the Asia specific release selections they are carrying in Red Wing store in Korea. Usually Red Wing Mokto boots come with a Taslan laces. It's a uh, weaved, it's, it's a pair of weaved laces, but I changed these out to a natural cowhide lace that I made myself. It's online on Amazon. You can buy this on Amazon as well. I had them, I had laces for five months uh, and they're so great. This is natural color, tan, natural tan cowhide and eventually the color will change and create its own patina on the lace as well. I changed it because I wanted to try them out and they are great so if you want to check them out they're 770 on Amazon so I would recommend you to check them out. I said check them out too many times. The lace itself is three millimeters thick and 48 inches long so it will cover up to eight eyelids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry, seven eyelids. I think it will probably fit up to eight. Look at how long it is. So probably cover up to eight. I have size UK 11. So if you have smaller feet, the late you'll lose lesser lace. So you'll probably fit better. It'll probably fit better. Um, also the leather will eventually how do you say, get longer in time, so it'll fit eventually. I'm not going to say the lace is indestructible. 
you know, nothing is indestructible. If you pull it really hard, it will probably snap. But, I mean, I tie my shoes very tight, tightly like this, but it didn't snap so far, so I think they are okay to go. The leather used on these boots are called oil tan leather. Oil tan leather means that during the tanning process the oil was used. Uh, the reason why the oil tan leather is amazing because it doesn't scuff easily. It, it scuffs, as you can see, it scuffs, but like it's easy to take care of afterwards as well. And since they use a lot of oil during the process, the leather is naturally more hydrated and gets less dry. Uh, probably after five years, that's not the case anymore. So I do care that for them quite often than I should. I had these for five years and to be honest, I do not remember how it went. I did have few blisters, it wasn't terrible because I do not remember it being terrible. I did have few terrible bl blisters from other boots, but these were not terrible. So, and if you break them in, they become really comfortable really quickly because of these crap soles. So crap wedge soles that they have. This is, uh, I do not know where it's made from, but I do believe that it's also from Vibram. Maybe I'm wrong, but it has a Red Wing logo there and it's, you know, has traction as well. So it doesn't, you don't slip. I climbed the mountain, mountains with these and they're rocky mountains and I didn't slip, even if it was worn out here. I didn't slip at all. Um, yeah, the reason why it's really comfortable because of these cushiony crap soles, crap wedge soles that they have. I am a very heavy person. Um, I weigh 110 kilograms. That's around, I think, 220 pounds. I am very tall as well, six foot three. Not very tall. I'm just tall, six foot three. So these, I can feel the cushion on these. Usually, I can feel the cushion on Nike Air boot uh, shoes, like sneakers. When I wear them, I can feel the air on my feet, like cushion. Same, same with these, I am able to feel the cushion part and they are really comfortable after they are broken in. I believe that these boots do not have any shanks in them. Shanks are there in the sole, inside the sole, here usually, and like here to protect your shoes. It's not only to protect your shoes, but it's to give a support. But these do not have shanks because it has a wedge sole. So I would recommend you to find a cobbler if you want to resole these, a cobbler to put on a same crab wedge soles or cobbler who can provide shanks when they resole because without shanks, the arch will be collapsing and it will become uncomfortable really quickly if you wear them for a long period of time. I did not resole them once yet. As you can see, it still has a lot of life left. I will probably wear them until it gets more worn off. It will probably take another five years because I do not wear these during the summer. It's very hot and I sweat easily, so I don't wear these during the summer. These are winter boots and sometimes my hiking boots. So, probably go for another five years and I will show you after five years how the resole went, resoling went. Or maybe I'll just resole them for a different type of sole, not a wedge sole, but maybe a commando sole, but we will see. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I will put on a on-feed video after this. And please like and subscribe to my channel.